Take two, what's up fishing family? Not gonna lie, this is kind of like an improv video. Um, I went out, I went fishing, I was gonna take the kayak out and do a review. Full disclosure, I forgot my paddle. So there's your first tip when you're into kayaking, make sure you bring everything, especially a paddle. It's kind of hard to paddle a kayak around without one. And I almost like want to put it in its own video because it's one thing that I like couldn't find when I was looking. Like, how stable are these for bigger adults? And being 260 pounds, like this thing was pretty stable. There was a couple times where like you forget you're in a kayak and you put your hand on one side to try to adjust your hips, and it was like whoo, abrupt tilt. But I never flipped it. Anyways, first time didn't tip. I paddled for about like three hours extremely comfortable this seat again six foot 260 pounds this seat was i have no complaints absolutely love that easy to load on to the boat ramp into the truck out of the truck so those things i can say without a doubt very positive review great experience any questions more suggestions drop them down in the comments there was a couple of y'all who mentioned some things and like somebody, pretty sure it was on YouTube, somebody in the comments mentioned water shoes. Game changer. I even wear these, I wore these to the lake, not even kayaking because even if the water's cold, drying off quick is the goal if you get wet. Bomb.com. Don't ask me about these. I couldn't find the brand. My mom found these for me at a used store. Just just happened to find these. She didn't even know I got the kayak yet, so um, that was cool. I got some new tackle boxes, 3600s. The Vibe Yellow Fin actually says this is the size for it. And what's interesting is they fit perfectly in here. There's this little bungee cord, and I don't know, I was anticipating that the purpose was that so you can pull over and lock something in there. And my smaller tackle boxes that are more flush with this, you can. The 3600s are too tall for that. Oh, like, you really gotta crank. Either these still have to stretch or... But when you're in the kayak, that's kind of like, like you can see, like, I'm flexing pretty good. Trying to get that in there. Ooh, that was probably loud. Let's try that one more time. Uh, yep, nope. So I don't like that. The dry storage has worked really well. Having not tipped my kayak yet, I left it in my truck and it rained here pretty good. Uh, the next morning I woke up and this thing was just flooded. Pulled the scuppers, drained the water out, opened these up, no water in them whatsoever, and they were fully submerged in rainwater. So, <clears throat> super good reviews on that. Overall, the tackle boxes, I'm not sure. As far as getting the size that fits or getting a smaller one that you can pull the bungee over, uh, that's something I'm not totally sold on yet. The dry bags, highly recommend. Um, like a bungee, pliers, clippers, you know, kind of that just stuff to replace your tackle, highly recommend. Flotation device, awesome. And toe straps, you're gonna need toe straps whether you're in a truck like me and just towing it down or you got it on a rack on your car, uh, you gotta secure it. Even if the rack you get comes with straps, I've seen other videos, I think Vibe's how-to video even puts additional straps on there. So, <clears throat> to summarize, if you're new into kayaking like me and you're wondering what all I should get, I would say the must-haves are Obviously your kayak and your paddle, a flotation device, a comfortable one, um, toe straps, and or a toe rack, however you're doing your transportation. Um, skin care, I'm not gonna tell you how to do it, just so far the hat and these like baklava thingies or whatever are really comfortable and provide full face, neck, ear protection. I highly recommend the water shoes. You do not have to. 
Um, I highly recommend the little pliers clipper set up to clip on somewhere. And the net is really up to you and what you're fishing. I honestly rarely use a net. Um, a rubber net especially is really good for trout fish for their protective layer without rubbing it off compared to a rope net or hand mat handling with your hands. So if you get a net, I would recommend getting one that you can extend or is smaller and some kind of attachment. It doesn't have to be this, it could just be a rope that you can attach it somewhere. A lot of people have them in the back. I've seen some people just kind of have them in here. This definitely becomes like your workspace. Like I notice no matter where you have your rods and stuff, like this becomes where you put things while you're kayaking. That also reminds me, I don't love the rod holder placement. Um, I felt like if I had a rod here or here, I was just very cognizant of it when paddling and it felt like it was like kind of hindering on my natural range of motion. That may also be a paddle length thing. This is adjustable. I'm learning the proper paddle length for kayak size and my personal height. So again, not doing a full review, just kind of like right off the bat where I'm at and how I feel about things. Um, and then also I highly recommend not keeping a rod behind your dominant side because I had a rod on here and I cast over my right shoulder and um, <laughs> I definitely caught my own rod on like <laughs> my back cast multiple times and it got very frustrating. So I would plan to, if you're gonna have more than one rod, either get the setup where you can have them in the middle or do opposites. All right, thanks for bearing with me. Um, that was a lot of talking. It's not like I'm proficient in kayaking, so I can't just take this out and say, oh yeah, like it doesn't track well, it doesn't turn well, it's slow, because I may not be paddling well and handling and maneuvering it well, things like that. I will say it loads easy, it stores easy, it's light. Um, it was for a first timer who's never been on a kayak before, on a very busy day at the lake, I was able to get it on the side of the boat ramp, kind of out of the way, not hinder anybody, load it up, get in it, push off, little awkwardly. Nice gentleman did offer to help push me off, but I was able to do it on my own because I'm a big boy. This is like first impressions on the water and um, I really love it. I'm excited to get more familiar with it and more experienced and hone in on the craft. Uh, also, I got skunked, so it was all kayaking that trip and no catching, but uh, still had a blast. Love it. Let me know if you have any questions. Drop them down below. If you appreciate the, tri the blah, 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 blah. if you appreciate this page so far, I would appreciate a like, a follow, a subscribe, whatever the word is. Um, I'm gonna try to do a lot more how-to videos and see how they do, how people react to them, if you like them or not. I'm gonna start with the very basics of fishing and I'm also gonna start with trout because that's like, I'm way more familiar with trout than bass. So, honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing with bass. I just, uh, you're gonna be learning with me. So if I post a how-to video on bass, you are gonna know that I just learned that and I'm letting you know if it works or not. Thanks.